Hey guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. I am so sparkly today. Wow. If it's your first time watching my video, I am a transgender woman and I do make fun content here on YouTube with fashion, beauty, and my experiences. So I hope you do stick around and subscribe to my channel. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing. Guys, I can't remember if I wished you Happy New Year or not, but Happy New Year. I feel like this is 2020 part two, but we're not gonna talk about that today. But I am curious, did you guys dress up for New Year's Eve? Did you wear sequin and sparkle magic and let your inner goddess shine? Let me know in the comments below. I actually wore this exact same outfit. My hair was a little bit different, but today I felt like a lioness. Mm. It was nice to dress up with my man and we rung in the new year looking fabulous. Okay, enough about me rambling about my New Year's Eve story, but people do tend to dress up, wear sequins and glam up during the holidays. The opulence, the extraness, the drama. So yes, if you clicked on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys these pieces from H&M that were gifted to me and show you how I would style them with sequency, is that a word? And sparkly pieces and show you guys how to wear them so that it's more appropriate for daytime. Obviously, if you want to wear head to toe sequins, girl, do you. Because don't let no one stop you. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys the pieces from H&M and then I'm going to try it on for you and style it. So, let's go. Hello. Hopefully, you guys can hear me because I don't have a microphone. Should I be yelling? I don't know. Just a reminder again, these pieces from H&M were gifted to me back in December. So I'm not sure if they're still available online or in stores. Stores are closed. But these pieces are from their older holiday collection, so they might not be available online. But I will try to find pieces from H&M that are similar and listed in the description below. So watch out for that. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is this cream sweater, which is a great staple for every day that you can dress up or down. I just love the ribbing detail. I think it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this big sleeves, obviously you guys know I love balloon style sleeves. It's like my jam. And I love the ruffle details here that go down to a V. I just feel like it just makes it look more expensive and lax and just really makes your chest area look bomb mm -hmm. i love the oversized fit too i believe this is a size small but yeah this sweater was all over h&m's instagram i wanted it for so long so i'm so glad i finally have it and i cannot wait to show you guys how i style it next i have another sweater it's like a super oversized taupe color and this one is a size medium Again, I just think the details make it look really interesting, more than just a basic boring sweater. I love the ribbing detail here versus down here, different shapes, and obviously the rope detail that is all around, goes up the sleeve, makes it really cool. I'll come closer so you guys can see it. Okay, close enough. I love this one. Okay, we get it. Next, I got this cardigan dress. So there's a story behind this. So a blogger, Nuri, she's also Bangladeshi, and she has a great YouTube channel and Instagram. I saw this dress on her haul and I was so obsessed with it, but every time I tried to order this dress, it was always sold out. And even I was on the notification list, girl, people are hungry out there. Literally, I get the email, a second later, I'm trying to purchase the item and it's gone. <sighs> So I'm so glad I have it. I love it so much. So this item, you can obviously wear it open as a cardigan, but you can also wear it as a dress. You guys will see. I'm loving, again, the balloon oversized sleeves, the drop shoulder. It's giving me like cute winter sexy girl vibes. And I love the design of the knit, how it's different. Okay. I don't know. I'm so obsessed with this piece. Okay, let's move along. We don't have all day. And lastly, I received this beautiful sequin caftan, which I'm so obsessed with. I know it doesn't really give me any shape, but I think that's the beauty of it. It just looks very effortless and cool and fun. But yeah, I love it. I love this low V neckline, the detail here, the big sleeves. Let me come closer. Even the sequins, guys, I feel like doesn't look cheap because y'all know sometimes sequins can look really cheap. This honestly looks like something more expensive than an H&M piece. This dress was perfect for New Year's because girl, you can eat, you can drink, and nobody knows what's happening underneath here. It's a mystery. 
Ooh. Also, I'm gonna be using these pieces from my wardrobe, a sparkly skirt that I already have, a sequin pant, and just like a sparkly sheer long sleeve top. I'm gonna be using these pieces with these new H&M pieces for my styling portion of the video. I'll see you guys soon. This is the cardigan that I'm wearing as a sweater dress. As you guys can see, it's a little bit big on me in the size medium. I wish at the size small, but it does make it look very effortless, cute, and comfortable. For styling, I kept it simple with the white boot. I was going to do a brown one, but then I wanted to keep it simple and monochromatic. I didn't even wear any accessories, anything crazy, which is so surprising because I always wear a belt, but I did leave a button undone to make it a little sexy and risque. You could totally wear this sweater dress with a black turtleneck and skinny black belt to give it a little pop, but let me show you how I switched it up. I just really love this top underneath. It's something different, adding that shimmer and shine, and I just love how the sleeves are peeking through. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I just love this look so much. It's so polished and sophisticated. I think it's appropriate for daytime with a booty and leather jacket, but also can be worn in the evening with a pair of heels. The details of the sweater, the ruffles mixed with the sequin pants is the right balance, especially with this belt that grounds the whole outfit and gives me some shape. You'd be surprised, but sequin pants are like a staple to me. They go with so many different tops. I love it. There's just something so effortlessly chic about this outfit. I just love the sweater big and boxy without adding a belt, which I think would have taken away from the look. I also pulled the skirt up to make it look more mini, so you see a little bit of sequin peeking through. I could totally add a knee-high boot with this for sure, but I wanted to make it a little bit more sexy with a heel. Do you guys like boxy sweaters or is it just me? Let me know in the comments. I mean, can we just talk about how beautiful this dress is? Sorry, it's a caftan but i just love the color the sequin the feel the way it flows it's giving life opulence drama majestic vibes mm, love it you could totally wear the caftan just the way it is but i'm going to give you some body with a belt there so I'm just busy twirling over here it's definitely a different vibe with the belt on it's a bit more classy but guys don't forget to wear this dress with a sweater and knee-high boots layer it up so it's more appropriate for daytime hope you found some inspiration today Thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day and spending it with me. I hope this video gave you some outfit inspiration, how to style sequins, and show you guys how you can dress it down a little bit to make it more daytime appropriate. As I always say, be yourself, darlings. I feel like everyone's gonna dress so opulent and extra and fabulous because we have been locked down for so long wearing comfy clothes. So bring out the sequins, bring out the fur, bring out the drama honeys, and let yourself shine. But guys, if you do like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button and turn on your notification bell for future uploads from me. I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you do wanna keep on talking, my Instagram is justjamiep, where I talk about things that matter to me, do weird things, I don't know. But hopefully I'll see you guys there and talk to you soon, bye. Mm, girl.